Hey guys, in this video I'm going to go over how I make an American flag ingrain cutting board. Now let's get started. So the materials of choice for this board are Purdue for the red stripes, maple for the white stripes and the stars, and purple heart for the union. Now if you are making a straight grain board, I would use Bloodwood because of its deeper red color, but I think for ingrain boards, Paduke ends up looking the best. The first thing I need to do is cut everything to width of the table saw. Now how many blanks you end up needing is really just dependent on how wide your lumber is. The wider the lumber, the less blanks you'll need. Okay, the next step is to glue these blanks up into panels. I need a red panel, a white panel, and then a blue panel for the union. And these are all made by gluing the blanks together. And once the blanks are dried and out of the clamps, I use my drum sander to clean them up and to flatten. The reason I'm using my drum sander here is because the grain is running perpendicular to the tool. Depending on what kind of planer you ran this through, you could end up causing a real mess and even a bunch of tear out. Okay, now that these are all cleaned up, I need to cut them into strips, or should I say stripes, because these are gonna end up becoming the stripes for the final board. I need seven red stripes and six white stripes, as well as seven strips of purple heart to make the union. I actually got seven white stripes out of my blank, and I'll just save the extra one for another board that I'll make down the road. Now once I cut these to length, you can see how everything will end up fitting together. The next step here is to glue the red and white stripes into segments. And again, once these are dried and out of the clamps, I'm going back to my drum sander to make them a consistent thickness and to clean up all the glue. Now at this point, I have three different sections. I have the long stripe section, I have the blue union section, and I had the shorter stripe section that are all gonna go together like this. Now before I glue these together, I have one more important step to finish. I'm gonna use my CNC to cut the star inlays. This starts by making the relief cuts in the purple heart field. This is the negative of the final image. I then use a maple ingrain blank to cut out the positive image that will end up inside the negative. Now if you'd like to see a more in-depth video on how I do inlays like this, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Alright, next I cut off the waste by using my bandsaw. And you can also do this with a table saw if you wanted to. Then I just add glue to the negative space making sure to get good even coverage. And then I press the positive into the negative and apply firm even pressure to ensure everything is glued together with no gaps. And once the blank is dried, I just use my bandsaw to cut off the top and reveal the inlay. The next step is to glue the three segments together. I like to glue these together in two stages. First I glue the star field to the short stripes to make the top half of the board, and then I glue that to the long stripes to complete the glue up. And once the whole board is together, I give it another series of trips through the drum sander to clean it up. This is where the drum sander is pretty much a must-have tool. You can't really do this step with a planer because you're going to risk tearing out the delicate star inlays. Alright, now it's on to finishing, and I'm going to start by nipping off the corners with a sander. I then use a sharp blade on my block plane to break all the other edges on the board. Now I highly recommend a sharp block plane over using something like a router bit here because even a slightly dull router bit is going to end up chewing up this end grain causing a lot of tear out. And as a bonus you get a lot of patriotic confetti. Now after sanding everything with 220 grit I pop the grain with water and sand it back again. The reason for doing this step is it's going to prevent the board from feeling fuzzy when it gets wet in the future. And the last step is by far the best. I'm going to give this board a bath in mineral oil and watch all the beautiful color come to life. And then buff on a coat of wax to give the board a nice soft sheen and there you have it, a US flag ingrain cutting board.
Hey guys, I hope you really enjoyed this video, and most importantly, I hope you learned something new.